So last week there was this news story that a young girl, a two-year-old, died in California unexpectedly. She unexpectedly stopped breathing. And of course the family's very upset. And then later it came out that this family, as well as the church to which they belong to, decided that they were going to pray to God in the hopes that God would resurrect their daughter. And this is incredibly disturbing. I don't mean to harsh on this family as they grieve for the loss of their daughter, but it's incredibly disturbing that they're going to pray to a deity in the hopes that this deity resurrects their dead daughter when there is zero evidence that any living thing has been resurrected after a certain amount of time. Uh, of course, there are those stories of someone being declared dead, and then it turns out they actually weren't dead, and they, quote, came back to life, or they were dead on the table, and the doctor revived them and brought them back to life. That's not what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about someone that is legitimately, legally, clinically dead, and then a deity has brought them back to life. That just doesn't happen. Clearly, uh, this is where I have problems with religion and Christianity specifically is it promotes a false hope. This idea that you have a God, an all-powerful, omnipresent God that can do anything and work miracles, this gives Christians and people that practice their religion false hope. There's no reason, no anecdotal, empirical evidence, there's no evidence at all that this deity exists, let alone causes miracles and brings people back to life. It's just, it's a really sad thing to watch that these people are so out of touch with reality because of what their religion is telling them that they could believe this to happen. And this went on for a week. I think it went on for about six days. This church in Redding, California is praying to God, to their God, that he would bring this little girl back to life. And guess what happened? Nothing. The girl is still dead. And it's an absolute bummer that that many people legitimately thought that if they prayed hard enough, that they, if they believed hard enough in this God, that he would bring this girl back to life. That is so out of touch with reality. That's a disservice that religion, that Christianity does to humans. How psychologically troubling is that? Because now what are these people going to think? They're either going to think, oh, they didn't pray hard enough, or it wasn't in God's plans, or whatever else, whatever other justification there is. It's just a really sad state of affairs. Religion provides false hope. Religion and Christianity allow people to disregard reality in such troubling ways. It's a disservice to people. I posted the link to this story on my Twitter yesterday, and a friend of mine tweeted me back to say that this was not a common uh, belief or practice in Christianity, which I agree. It's probably not a common practice. I don't imagine that a lot of churches get together to pray uh, for people to be resurrected from the dead. But to say that's not a common belief is just not accurate. The entirety of Christianity is based on the idea of a person namely Jesus, being resurrected. So saying that uh, this belief isn't common is just not accurate. Uh, without that belief, there is no Christianity. And within Christianity in general, Jesus hypothetically, not even hypothetically, supposedly uh, resurrected Lazarus as well as some other resurrections that took place in the New Testament. Of course, I don't buy any of that. There's no evidence to any part of that story. Uh, and there's no evidence for the legitimacy of some of the things in the Bible, these miraculous claims in general, uh, is a different topic. But to say that that's not a belief that Christians have is not necessarily accurate. Also, this is directly related to other times false hope is provided by Christianity or religion in general. Uh, there are tons and countless stories of people getting ill, getting cancer, getting sick, and refusing medical treatment because they believe, if they pray hard enough, that their God is going to take care of them, that Jesus or God, whoever, is going to cure them. And guess what generally happens? They suffer and they die because 
there isn't, as far as we can tell through evidence, there isn't a God. So you're, you're praying and getting no results out of it. It's, it's really, truly sad that religion allows individuals, I'm not saying everybody that's religious, I'm not saying all Christians, but it allows them to disconnect with reality so, so far that allows them to just disregard what they know about the physical world, that they can put their hopes in this and pray and invest all this, this time and energy into something that ultimately is not going to happen. You're not going to raise your daughter from the dead. It's just not possible. We have no evidence that anything has been prayed for and then came back to life. It just does not work like that. Just like praying that your cancer is healed. It doesn't work like that. In fact, there's no evidence that prayers have been answered at all. There are countless studies that have studied prayer and none of them have demonstrated that prayer is an effective tool to produce anything or to change anything, which again lends evidence or it doesn't provide evidence that uh, there's a God. So it's just troubling. It's really troubling. Uh, for all the good things that religion supposedly provides, there are countless instances of this type of deal. It's almost like a societal bad. It harms us. It harms humanity. It harms progress. It's not a good thing for people.